Guys, look what happened last night. Snow. Did not see that coming. It's going to be a cold filming week for the short film. What do you think, Kiki? So when creating a short film, commercial, or some sort of long form project, it's often smart to dream up the entire idea and visualize it before actually creating it. And when thinking about my short film, I wanted to storyboard it to have a plan going into it. But then I realized storyboarding a 20 minute short film may be a really hard thing to accomplish right now. That being said, I think actually pre-visualizing your project or film before actually making it is the smartest move. There's so many ways you can do this and I wanna talk about that in today's video. So I'm gonna to skip to one that I recently heard about and have tried multiple times now and I really like it. This is less of a visualization as it is more of a way of getting a hold of the length and pacing of your project first. And that's creating your video project or film in podcast form. I got this idea from Jim Cummings. He's an independent filmmaker, and he mentioned that when making his independent feature films that he makes a podcast version of the entire script, acting out each part on his own and reads the action lines along with it. This is kind of like a solo table read of the script. In theory, by doing this, you can see roughly how long your film will be and see how the dialogue feels without needing to rehearse as much on the day with the actors. This can totally work for a commercial or other video project as well. I've done this in the past where we had the voice voice actor come in and actually do the VO for the commercial before we've even shot the project. This gives us a sense of tone and pacing to go off of while filming. And I feel like this is a really good way of working. Now the second method is the obvious one and that's storyboarding. This has been one of the main ways of pre-visualizing a film since the dawn of film production. The problem with storyboarding is that it's a very manual and long process. Given that a feature film has like 1200 to 1500 shots in it, even my short film will probably have like 200 or 250 shots, it's not always practical to do this, but there are a lot of alternatives to this these days. You can use something like Cine Tracer to actually build scenes in the computer and then grab shots from that instead. Or you can try the app Storyboarder, which I've talked about before on the channel. You can scan an environment in 3D with your phone using Polycam and then add models to the room to visualize shots and blocking. I did this in VR, which was really cool, but I think the VR side of the Storyboard platform doesn't work anymore, which is a major bummer. But another quick way of doing a storyboard is to simply take photos on the location scout with stand-ins to better get an idea of how the cut would come together on the day. I actually shot a commercial last week and the director was able to make an entire layout of what we were going to film just using his iPhone first. He then laid in the iPhone photos onto a storyboard in the computer as if it was a hand-drawn board instead. This kept us in sync throughout the whole shoot and we never missed a shot this way. Another way is a full-blown animatic. Now I've worked with agencies in the past that have the ability and the people in-house to do this and it was super helpful. It's like a storyboard, but you actually cut it together as if it's the real shots from the shoot. You can pair this with pre-recorded VO or music and basically see the product before you've shot anything. So for my film, I'm actually doing a mixture of all of this. I did scans of some locations, got scout photos of others, and for some of the shots, I just needed placeholders for the transitions and whatnot. And to do that, I'm using stock footage, which you can do with the help of this video sponsor, which is Storyblocks. Storyblocks has an insanely large library of high quality footage that you can use when you don't have the time or resources to get a shot you need or to simply pre-visualize a project before you make it. The footage is royalty free and their subscriptions can fit any budget with unlimited downloads. It's it's super easy to find the clips you're looking for using their intuitive filtering and browsing features like frame rate, resolution, or motion graphic templates. They also have a new Premiere Pro plugin which integrates the library right into the platform, giving you direct access to all their footage at any time during the edit. So find out more about Storyblocks and get the shots that you need for your next previs by using the link in the description below. And I want to thank Storyblocks for sponsoring this video. I mean, for my short film, I went as far as acting out an entire scene by myself and cutting it together just to see how the dialogue would translate on screen. What is this? Isn't it perfect? Mm, yeah, it has the perfect amount of potential. I set up my camera, used autofocus, went outside, acted out one side of the scene, and then flipped the camera around and acted out the other side of the scene, cut it together in post, and then just used, you know, some stock music as well to just kind of visualize how the dialogue would sound on screen and how the tone 
ultimately would come across. You know, I could color grade it a little bit too, you know, I, basically kind of shooting the film with myself before shooting the film. Now, obviously it would be practical to film the entire film this way, and that's why I'm using all these other techniques to just kind of combine all that together to get just a, some sense of idea of what I'm making before I actually make it. Actually, all that being said, I need to get back to shot listing my film right now because um, we are shooting principal photography in just a few days and there is still so much to do, but I'm super excited and there'll be lots of behind the scenes videos of the film, so stay tuned for that. And as always, I'm Sister Sakurai, see ya.